There'll be birth. Wow. There'll be death. <gasps> There'll be romance in the treetops. Ooh. There'll be predators. It's going to be better than an episode of Game of Thrones. Yes. Yep. Get ready for the next Hollywood blockbuster. Well, not quite. But these insects do have an epic story. It all takes place in, where else? America. You see, while cicadas are those famously noisy insects that are found all over the world, the kind starring in this story are different. They're brood 10 cicadas, which only come out every 17 years. They spend that time growing underground and living off sap from tree roots. But then it's time. They're going to emerge in such massive numbers synchronously, boom. Billions, possibly even trillions of them come out all at once, ready to take over the world. Or live out their lives peacefully, I guess. Oh yeah, there they are. Hey teenagers, how you doing? What's life been underground like for the last 17 years? As you can tell, it's a pretty big deal for insect scientists like Professor Rob. This is just a spectacular event. I mean, there's nothing else like this on the entire planet Earth, even in the entire universe. Yeah, okay, a very big deal. But this isn't where the drama stops. First, a costume change. Weird. They shed their skins, and by morning, they're going to assume that wonderful color, jet black body, bright red eyes, orange wings. Then the cicadas make their way very slowly up trees. Right now, everything on the planet wants to eat a cicada, so once they get to the treetops, they're going to be in relative safety. That's when the romance happens. Oh, and the very noisy mating call. Female cicadas then lay their eggs in the tree branches. And six weeks later, they hatch and fall to the ground and the babies burrow metres underground to grow and start the cycle all over again. As for the parents, they only live above ground for about three weeks before they die. (laughs) All right, enough of that. Lately, people all over America have been seeing and hearing the creatures come out in their backyards. Come on, Willie. There we go. That's the cicada wave. Hey, Willie, how you doing? For some, it's a cool experience. For others, it's a slightly confronting sight. Cicadas don't bite. Cicadas don't sting. Cicadas don't fly away with small dogs and children like the monkeys in The Wizard of Oz. My little party's just beginning. Uh, yep. Good to know. But there's another twist in the cicada story. A crunchy twist. (gasps) Cicadas and shrimp are in the same family. It's one of the reasons why when people taste cicadas, they say, oh, that tastes like shrimp. In some restaurants in America, they're being served up to hungry customers. Cicada taco, anyone? First, like, you can definitely feel like a bit of the crunch, but if you start to chew it, it kind of just, like, melts in. I think going into it, the concept when I'm eating a cicada, is a little odd and weird, but um, it's actually not bad. Not to worry though, entomologists say there are a lot of these cicadas to go around. And nutritionists say they're a good source of protein. And that's it, but tune in for the sequel to this epic blockbuster when the next cicadas emerge in 2038. Oh what? That's ages! I already waited 11 years for the second avatar. 